Hey, this is Rai. I wanted to go over a couple of things before this part. Um, just a couple of quick things. The first is that I'm going to start doing commentary voiceover over these parts. Um, I'm going to stick to the battles and like field as opposed to... I'm not going to try to talk over any dialogue or the cutscenes or anything like that because that's mostly what this game is made out of or made... made yeah. It's, it's not much more than a visual novel, to be honest. But uh, I'm going to try and stick to talking over the field scenes and the battles. Because uh, they're, they're kind of tedious. And the big thing is I don't really want to subtitle them anymore. I don't want to subtitle the menus. So it's just much easier if I just explain it. Explain what I'm doing. Explain, you know, the important item names and stuff like that. Because subtitling it is the biggest slowdown for this. And it's a nightmare and I absolutely hate it. I mean, I could go, I could also take forever go into exactly why I'm so slow about posting these. Uh, the short answer is basically that it is not a high priority. <laughs> uh, I got multiple projects going on right now, including a dub of this, of this anime, and, um, which I will talk about. Uh, I'll post a video about this if you're, if you're interested in participating in that, because I'm not publicly casting at the moment, but, uh, I do have some roles left. I always have a million extra rolls, so if you're kind of a filthy casual, <laughs> uh, you can always play an extra. I'll post a video for casting cool and whatnot in January or so. It'll be when I get this round of script revisions done, because I've written all the scripts many, many times. But um, I my standards jumped around senior year of college, so I've been rewriting all of them and almost done with that. Um, the other thing is the translation of this game. I did mention before that I was thinking about translating it. The keyword is I am thinking about it, but like I said, I've got other projects running right now. I've got my schoolwork, and then I've got this dub, and then I've got two original projects. So it's not a terribly high priority, but but yes, uh, I am thinking about looking into it. And basically the one thing that I got to start with that can be done is the script extraction. Now I could write a uh, a script, <laughs> you know, I could write a program, an application that extracts that like digs through the game's files, you know, looks for looks for strings. I could probably even write something that's elaborate enough to actually look at dig out, you know, the game's pointers and stuff like that, figure out what order they're in and you know that kind of thing i mean usually it's not like things are stored in a game sequentially so i could i could write something that elaborate that actually pulls it all out in order i could even write something that just pulls it all out though not necessarily in order um japanese encoding is kind of a pain in the ass there's of course the fact that this game has free gone and i'm not sure how that's stored in the um game's files so I don't want to have to deal with that. I think honestly it might actually be easier to just play through it and write it down as I go. Because it's not like this game has that many branching possibilities. Um, but yeah, what if, if you want to participate in that right now, the only thing I'm going to look at is uh, I'll just need people to literally play the game and record it. And I will tell you, like, oh yes, focus on this pathway. This is something I haven't explored because I need to extract all the dialogue from, you know, if this happens. So it's like, okay, yeah. Um, for example, in my playthrough, I primarily buddied up to Lettuce and Ringo. Um, so I could say, like, okay, yeah, you focus on, you know, pudding. You room with pudding. You be nice to pudding. You know, you try and be friends with pudding. Get all those, you know, dialogue points. Um, and anything else left through left out I can sort through the voices the, the other thing that I could use help with would be sorting through the voices I already extracted all the audio files from this game um, so the uh, I should probably also note that the music is not an audio file in this game this is an older game if you know anything about game music this is actually sequenced so I have the game s music samples like all the little instruments I do not have the sequences at this point um, so We'll sit about that, but that's not the important thing at the moment. The important thing is getting a script so that the voice actors can record it. Um, so, anyone who also wants to help me sort through the several hours of voice acting, rec like 
voice recordings for dialogue, then hey, that'd be brilliant. <laughs> but it'd probably be significantly easier to do that with a script. So anyone who wants to be a translation consultant and all that, then get in contact with me. So, and, and please don't bother me about voice acting at this time. If I need voice actors, I will do a casting call. And, you know, if there's a casting call for anything new year related, it will be on this channel. So anyway, um, enjoy this part.レッドデータアニマルズを育てるのと動物たちが住みやすい場所にするためにミュウアクアが使われたんだその結果この島で生まれたレッドデータアニマルズにミュウアクアを感知できるものが現れその DNAを利用して純度100%のミュウアクアを
では話がまとまったところで朝食にしましょうかはーい<笑> I keep cutting off puddings like none of that at the end ごちそうさまでした、oh. I'm gonna sit around and listen for it <laughs> I'm gonna hurry yo play this game CNPJ に来た記念に来ていただく衣装ですよ持ち帰りはできませんがそれを着て写真を撮ったりして旅の思い出作りに役立てていただくというコンセプトなんです綺麗なのだでも動きにくそうなのだこれじゃゲーができないのだ<笑>そうですけどこれは日本の民族衣装のようなものですよでも周りで見ないのだ浴衣は夏の風物詩をプリプリーも写真を撮りたいのだあとで R2000 を使ってできるようにしておくから今はレッドデータアニマルズを探すことに専念しろそうですわねでは行きましょうかお姉さまうん頑張ろうねはいプリンも頑張るのだちょっと待てでも面白くねえから先にフンボルトペンギンを見つけた方にケーキのおかわり自由にしてやろう腹いっぱい食いたけりゃ頑張れ私が負けるわけありませんわよそれはこっちのセリフよちょっとお待ちください実は使えそうなアイテムをいろいろと持ってきたのですがそれを皆さんが集めた動物の DNA データと交換してお渡しします交換どうして普通にくれないんですかそうしようとしたのですが島にもいろいろあっただろう
それに人生はそれほど甘くない自給自足ギブアンドテイクそれが生きるためのおきてだとにかくそういうことだから何かと交換したいなら圭一郎に話しかけろそれは分かりましたがどういうシステムになってますのそれも圭一郎に聞け話は以上だちょ,ちょっとよろしければご説明しましょうか分かりましたではアイテムを選んでくださいそれではよろしくお願いしますキメラアニメのこともありますし無理だと思ったら一度このコテージに戻ってきて休んでください自分の部屋で少し休むことも大切なことですからね分かりましたいってらっしゃいSo there's a lot of wandering around in this forest because it all looks completely identical. It's really frustrating. Because <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, go to this new area, you can't find anything. And the battles are also really, really tedious, so I just cut them all. At least, except for like the boss battles, some of which I sped up. Because I I'm just not a fan of this type of battle system at all. Yeah, um, also the emulator is really glitchy on the sound. Because this game has sequenced music, it, it, it plays like the. It plays it as if it was sheet music, like in real time. So. It'll skip through the physical song a lot. Also, my audio recording it didn't. It wasn't very good at syncing to the video either. It would just like randomly skip. I've actually since switched it out for something that works better. But yeah, some of these older. Some of this older footage has a lot of that going on, a lot of the audio skipping, so I apologize for that, but it didn't really, it's never skipping anything more, thankfully. But yeah, there's a, a lot. Oh, I forgot to subtitle that. It says Mountain Road. Um, because, yeah, everything looks identical. It's really easy to get lost in this forest, which would be fine if that was, like, deliberate, except I don't think it is. It's like, the game kind of assumes that you know where you're going. Uh, yeah, so it's just me fucking around with the items. <laughs> this is come, but this particular the frustration of this particular part was compounded by the fact that putting is, uh, frankly, kind of useless in this game. <laughs> as far as I know, I did not use her much past this point, but um, her mechanic is based on agility, and the agility calculation system is kind of broken. So, yeah. Uh. Considering that this is a kid's game, it's got kind of an obscene level curve. I guess if I wanted the dialogue, I have to go back and do all this. The other options are the animal encyclopedia and the um, memory album. No, I can't find anything in that forest. Give me shit. 
Why not? <laughs> They're not in a hurry or anything. Why don't you go fishing too while you're at it? Like I missed something on my computer. Yeah, honestly, I just really have nothing to say here. It's just this this forest is uh not fun. And the funny thing is I haven't actually finished this game yet. Um, even when doing this post commentary, uh, I was getting horribly. Uh, how do I say this in a kid friendly way? Uh, destroyed! Destroyed by Penguin. This penguin really had it in for me. So, I, I was just kind of like, well, fine. I'd already switched computers anyway, and this game does not play as well with my current computer. So, I just, like, never play it. Okay, so to get that one item, you had to fight those five battles, and it was so boring. So as you can see, I just cut it to the end, just to show, oh yes, I did need to the battles. Yeah, because believe me, you didn't want me to leave them all. And I really, really wanted that shot. I was even playing this with my friend watching me. Or she had joined me. For the original commentary, the simultaneous, but that got lost somewhere. And she's like, why do you keep doing this? And I'm like, no, I need it. I'm not. I don't know about you, but I felt pretty homicidal after that. So good for you, Lettuce. I can get the yeah, I gotta get rid of those meows. It's so stupid. Yeah, so I also cut all the parts where I was just fiddling around in the bag. That's why I like the music jumps and stuff. So this is the boss battle. The, ba the bosses in this game, as you probably have seen.
Anyway, the bosses in this game are the red date animals, which, which, you know, that is endangered animals, basically, so, you know, translating to red date isn't technically correct. I do it because it sounds cooler. <laughs> so, yeah, that's one of the things that I, I, I'm usually pretty staunch about translating these kind of things, but that's one thing. I just wasn't quite as anal about. Yeah, I just don't feel like changing the subtitles at this point. Um, so, you get to see all the corrections in my next part, which will come out um, spring 2018. So these boss fights, like this, the level advantage and the amount of time it takes to beat up these things would be a lot more satisfactory if there was a, a more significant strategy element to this game. But it's bare bones, which is fine. But it's uh, and on the higher with uh, stronger bosses, it gets horribly tedious. So that is like the main criticism I have for this game. Fortunately, the story is just fun as far as I am. I do have a gripe is that of course it takes place in the manga universe as far as I know, as opposed to the anime universe. It's <laughs> just such a minor issue, but um, personally, I prefer the anime. To the manga, but eh, it's a character thing. <sighs> oh, that took me forever to translate, and I'm really not sure why. this game. Er, I'm tempted to give this game to Faustin and Red to uh, play through, because neither of them speak Japanese, and they're much, much funnier commentators than I am. at exactly the right moment. It's never too late. So as you can see, I sped this up because it was really, really boring. This one was actually, I think it took longer than the boss fight. Uh, just because there were so many of them. But, yeah! It's so boring! And also putting dice really easily. So after this part, I just, like, never took her along again. Which is a pity, because she's, like, one of my favorites, I think. Probably... Yeah, after left, she's probably my favorite, honestly. I did not try when cutting that music, did I? Nope. Yeah, I do not put as much effort into editing these as I do other things. Sorry about that. I really don't. As you can see from the title. <laughs> I mean, I did the English animation there, and then I just stuck my name over it. But the one from the previous one, no. I didn't put any effort into that, because I hadn't finalized my logo yet. So I just threw in the Tokyo Pop one and was like, hey, it works! See? And even now, it just keeps going! And it's like sped up to three times, I think. Something like that. Also, I didn't want to subtitle the battle, because there was nothing interesting happening. Uh, 
about time. Level up! I didn't even try here. Uh, I'm going to have Momonga. I really should have said that. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. That was only one of the battles. Sorry. And that's why, if I translate this game, I'm honestly probably going to extract all the assets and rebuild from scratch. Because the battle system is broken AF. I just like stop caring about those animal decks entries. If anyone cares, let me know. I'll start subtitling them again, I guess. How'd you manage that? That's it for day two.